Y'all ready for this? You know, you'd be surprised on how many injuries happen to your teeth due to corn shucking like this and other food related injuries. In fact, I got a crazy story about somebody corn shucking their teeth. It kind of still makes me shiver today. So I don't know if it was a college competition like this, and I don't know really what the purpose was, but they were having a competition where they were trying to see, same concept here, who can eat the corn the fastest? And as we can see, one of the most efficient ways is to go ahead and take that bad boy in. <laughs> Kind of like a beaver or whatever else. I don't know what animal does that. Let me know down below. But for some reason in this competition, I don't know if you guys know, but back in the day, I don't know if they still use these, but they're like corn skewers that go in the side and they're little metal pieces and they kind of jam into the sides of the corn so you can kind of hold them and bite them. I'll try and find a picture here to show you what's going on. But anyways, hers was actually placed at an angle, unfortunately, because they were trying to do this quick, right? They were trying to like move on to the next corn really quickly. She shoved it in at a 45 degree angle. And unfortunately, those two spears were barely poking through, not where you could see them, where they were just kind of hidden halfway inside that corn kernel. And so this girl, she was doing it the old fashioned way. She was going and for some reason, she saw everybody else doing the and so she said, great. I can do that too. So she turns her sideways mid course correction and goes and those two metal needle spears went directly in to the back of the roof of her mouth. Now, if you guys don't know behind the two front teeth is actually what we call your nasopalatine foramen. And it's actually a nerve that sits right there and it's super painful. One of the most painful shots you can get. In fact, we had to give everybody shots in dental school and that was the one we were all dreading because you just put it right directly in there. And oh boy, does it burn. So basically she did have to come in for an emergency. She had chipped two of her teeth from the metal popping into them aggressively. But probably the more dangerous thing was that she shoved those literally spines right directly into the roof of her mouth. Now, luckily the gum tissue inside of your mouth heals super quickly so she ended up not having any issues we were a little bit worried about rust or something being on the edges of the little things because you know they clean them they get rusted and everything like that and so she did have to go get a tetanus shot they'd fix the chips everything was good from there but i guess the moral of the story is if you're doing crazy things with your teeth just make sure that there's nothing that can harm them specifically giant metal razor blades inside your corn